Last time, on Island Camp, the teams had to use logs to race from the top of the mountain, all the way down to the ceremony to win, then, Diana throws Zoe off the gaming hard causes log. From there, I thought that they won until the horrible truth came in, Diana almost caused a murder scene and she got disqualified. That means she ain't coming back. So the Crystal Swords won again due to what Diana has done. However, the gaming hardcore still has an elimination to deal with, but Zai has survived from the throw. In the end, James, Kathy, and Destiny were on the chopping block. Then, Molly Betty decided to choose James and Kathy to stay. Making Destiny lose all hope and didn't get her revenge. Wow. A lot of things happened within that day. Moving on. What will James make up for the rest of the game in hard calls? What will the Crystal Sword do in this upcoming challenge that will change the game? It starts here, right now. On Island, Camp. So what do you guys think what the challenge will be? I have no clue. But let's try to win again, so we can keep the streak going. Yeah, that would be awesome. But did you guys forget that we have to worry about James? Don't worry Jose, as long as we don't get distracted by him. Then we should be okay. I hope James doesn't taunt Jose during the next challenge. Otherwise, we're screwed. Sandy, why are we out here? I was thinking of this spot to relax away from our teammates for a little bit. Oh, that makes sense. By the way, I like you. You are amazing to keep our team going. Really? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I cannot believe that Tyler said that to me. Anyways, it's hot over here. Can we go to the trees to get shade? Yeah, it is hot over here. So Kathy. Why you were bossing around us the entire time? Now Zoe, I was not bossing around you or the other campers. I think somebody is trying to frame me. Wait a second. Since Diana is out of the game, she was the one who sabotaged Zoe. And the first camper who got eliminated off the island named Joe. The hell, the hell. The reason I know that because I heard her laugh during in the second challenge. But who is trying to frame Kathy? Oh, oh my god. god. That son of a gun. James was with Diana the entire time. Why did you guys do that for? You know the one boy camper we have on our team. He was with Diana the entire time. Within the moment that she got disqualified, he's about to do the same thing like her. Wait, you meant James? Yes. James is up to no good. Are you kidding me? I swear, if he makes us lose today, he's out of here for sure. What the hell? Why the hell are you here? It's none of your business. I'm trying to find the statue of John. So I can be safe later on. We will see about that. I hope I can get the statue first before him, so he ends up leaving the island. There you are, James. Oh what, now? You are the one who gave us up our hiding spot with Diana from the third challenge. And why did you wait for the right time for Diana to screw us over the challenge after that? Especially about the eliminations that she caused. Okay, I'll talk. The reason why I was quiet the entire time about this because I want to watch Joe, the one that Diana sabotaged, Traven, Destiny, especially Diana all getting what they deserved. And why is you taunting someone on the other team? Is there somebody that you really hate? Yes I do and did. Jose is literally one of the worst people that just doesn't stop talking. Back on the first day on this island, Jose was talking about the million dollars, and then during the first challenge. I was blocking him so he can't go further. After that, his two buddies were helping him going up against me, 
so I gave up and wait until later at the right time to knock them out. But this tall dude is taller than me and he said, Back off before we knock you out, you dickhead. Wow, that is crazy. Now here's the thing. If you make us lose, you are out of here. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Attention campers. Meet me at the beach for your next challenge. See you at the challenge. Well, I got a new threats to deal with. Alright campers. This challenge is going to be easy. What you have to do is simple. Don't fall off the balance beam. Also, where's Tracy? I'm right here. Girl, where have you been? Me, Monica, and Zoe were talking with James. Well, I was at the forest trying to get my cardio in for this challenge. Oh, okay. Anyways, follow me to the shore. Okay, I lied about me doing my cardio. I was listening to my alliance's conversation. They think that James was framing Kathy. But no, it was me. Now everyone, from where you can see, the two colored balance beams represent your teams as colors. That's where you guys will be standing on. However, there's one problem. Since the gaming hardcores have five people, it will be unfair for them because they don't have even numbers up like you, Crystal Swords. So James and Kathy will have an extra life. Wait, if I or Kathy falls into the water, we can try again? Yes, but if you fall into the water again, then you are completely out. Sounds good to me. Hopefully I can get trust by Kathy's alliance if I save the team. Holy crap. How long do we have to stay on here for? As long as you can. And the challenge starts. Now. We cannot lose again for the third time. This time we will win. We will see about that. So what the teams don't know is that the logs can tilt. Which means it's going to make it difficult for them. Guys, I can't go on. I'm getting seasick. Zoe, please don't do this to us. I'm sorry, Kathy. Looks like I can't go on. No, no, no. After five minutes, Zoe is the first one out. Shit. Holy God, fuck. Damn oh, no. it. Also, Naomi and Roy fell off from the crystal swords. And the logs didn't even start tilting yet. What the hell are we going to do? Keep holding onto the log. We cannot lose another teammate behind. He's right. Let's do that. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. What the actual what flying the hell? hell? I got you, Reggie. I'm not letting you go. Thank you, Tom. I would have been out after that. Oh no, I'm slipping. I got you, Sadie. Oh, oh no, 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 no. She. Tracy. I no. And there goes Tracy. There's only five left on the Crystal Swords and three left on the Gaming Hardcores. And remember, James and Kathy do have their extra lives. Hang on tight, guys. We are losing the challenge. Shit. I can't even hold Reggie anymore. Wait. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Guys, don't let go. I'm begging you, don't let go. Reggie, I'm so sorry. I couldn't hold you for a very long. It's alright. Shit. Jose is alone with Tyler and Sadie. You're right. Tyler and Sadie. Don't let James taunt Jose as long as you can. We're on it. I think that the boys did a great job within the challenges. Hopefully, they can trust me after helping Jose. Hey the gaming hardcores. You guys didn't do shit. Ha, ha, Try ha, falling ha. off your own beam. Hell no. You guys need to fall off and let us win. And Jose, stop laughing you weird looking ass. Stop taunting me James. What did I even do to you? You couldn't stop talking about that damn one million dollars that is behind your back. Jose, is this true? Um, yes. Oh, my lord. Why? Shit. Ha 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 ha. What are you going to do now Tyler? You are all alone. And Sadie and Jose are out. That means Tyler is the only one left on the blue beam. So this is a close game. Oh no. Tyler is the only one left and James still taunted Jose out. That bastard. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. We lost. Yes, 
We won. Never mind about that. This got turned for the worst. Man, we had a chance to win, and our crown reign is over. We were close to winning the challenge. Then James taunted Jose and caused him to fall off our balance beam. And Tyler is the last one to fall off the crystal swords' balance beam. That means the gaming hardcores finally won their crown again. James, we won the challenge. We did it. Let's freaking go. As far as we know, the gaming hardcores are having tacos for dinner. As for the crystal swords, they are up for elimination. So congrats to you the gaming hardcores for getting your crown back. As for you the crystal swords, you will be at the ceremony up for elimination. Man, I really need to find that statue of John before it's too late. I can't believe that we won. Yeah, this is great. Also, I found the statue of John. Wait, you had that the entire time. That's right, and I was thinking that I will give this to you for the trust. Wow, really? Then you do have the trust after all. Anyways, let's go to our cabin. What Kathy doesn't know. That is the fake one I made. I already have the real one right here. That means I have the advantage. The Crystal Swords. This is your second elimination of this game. As you all know, you now get green cards in order to be safe from elimination. Other than that, get to voting. I'm voting for Naomi. I'm voting for Jose. After hearing the secret that he wanted. I'm voting for Jose. I'm voting for Naomi again. She didn't carry herself. I'm voting for Jose. I'm voting for Naomi. I'm voting for Naomi. Alright, the votes are in. There are six cards to hand out. When I call your name, you get a green card. If you don't, you are out of the game, Roy. Tyler. Tom. Reggie. And Sadie. You guys are safe. Naomi and Jose. You guys are on the chopping block for letting your team down. So, the last card goes to, is. Jose. You are safe. Oh, thank God. The Crystal Swords, you may now go back to your cabin. Well, my time has come to an end. Well, Naomi, it's time to go to the boat. Naomi, thanks for playing. I'll see you next time. Well that's 5 campers down, 11 more to go. Will the Crystal Swords win without Naomi? How long will Kathy trust James for? Stay tuned for the next episode of Island Camp.